Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at retinal ganglion cells. So things like on-center, off-center, on-surround, and off-surround bipolar cells. And we're going to take each of those scenarios and work through them individually. Hopefully by the end of this video, all of your confusion on that topic will be cleared up. So before we actually get into each problem, there are a couple things that we should keep in mind and keep in the back of our heads as we go through each example. And the first thing is that photoreceptors are normally depolarized in the dark. And this is known as the dark current phenomenon, and it's a result of sodium channels. Uh, although I'm not going to go into the depths of that, all you really no need to know here is that they're depolarized in the dark. And the next thing that we're going to look at here is that photoreceptors release glutamate. Um, so for this part, although we are releasing glutamate from our photoreceptors, depending on whether or not we're dealing with on or off bipolar cells, we're going to see different responses to this glutamate. So on bipolar cells, they have metabotropic receptors. So metabotropic, uh, when you hear that, you want to think of GPCR. And glutamate has a negative action against these receptors here. Now off bipolar cells, they have ionotropic receptors, so think um, like sodium channels, and in this case when glutamate is released, uh, glutamate is promoting the influx of sodium, so it, it works positively on these receptors. And the last thing that we should keep in mind is that horizontal cells release GABA, which is notably an inhibitory molecule. Okay, so let's look at our first example here of the on bipolar cell in the direct pathway. So here we see the light shining onto the center of the receptive field here. And like we mentioned in our three points to keep in mind as we go through this, we said that photoreceptors are normally depolarized in the dark. So in this case, when we see light, that means they're going to get hyperpolarized. And that is shown in the first little uh, caption there, photoreceptor hyperpolarized, which makes sense. The second thing we said is that photoreceptors release glutamate. Now, because this photoreceptor is hyperpolarized, it's not getting as much of a signal. It's going to release less of what it has, glutamate. So as we see here in red, the first little thing there, it says less glutamate released, which makes perfect sense in this scenario. Now, keep in mind, we're dealing with an on bipolar cell, and we said that they have metabotropic receptors, which are normally inhibited by glutamate, right? So because we have less glutamate released here, we're not inhibiting our bipolar cells. Our metabotropic receptors are not being inhibited by this glutamate. Therefore, our bipolar cells are getting the message they're getting depolarized. They're not getting inhibited by this photoreceptor cell, right? So they're getting depolarized and they're going to continue on and send their message. So that's our direct pathway of the on bipolar cell. Let's look at the indirect pathway next. So this is the indirect pathway. Now here we can see that we don't have light in the center. It's dark in the center, but light in the surround. So let's, let's dive into this. So if we have light going into the surround, our surrounding photoreceptors, like we said in our three rules, just to recap, the first one was that photoreceptors are going to get hyperpolarized when there's light because they're normally depolarized in the dark. So that makes sense here. They are hyperpolarized, as we expect. Now, because they're hyperpolarized, they're going to obviously release less glutamate, which makes sense. So one thing to note here is that we're dealing with horizontal cells in the picture now, right? So horizontal cells... Uh, their relation to the photoreceptor here is that when photoreceptors release glutamate, this is going to promote horizontal cells to release GABA. Like I said in our, in our three key points to remember, horizontal cells release GABA, which is inhibitory. So back to this little uh, schema here. If our photoreceptor is hyperpolarized and releasing less glutamate, 
it's not acting on the horizontal cell. So the horizontal cell is also hyperpolarized, right? So our horizontal cell is going to release less GABA onto the photoreceptor that is upstream of our bipolar cell, right? So this photoreceptor is in the dark. And we said photoreceptors that are in the dark are normally depolarized, right? So this photoreceptor in the center is depolarized. And because our horizontal cell is basically inhibited and not releasing GABA, which is inhibitory onto this photoreceptor, this depolarization is going to release glutamate, like we said, right? Photoreceptors release glutamate. So it's going to release glutamate onto the bipolar cell. And you have to keep in mind, once again, we're dealing with on bipolar cells. And on bipolar cells have metabotropic receptors, which do not go well with glutamate release, right? It's inhibited by it. So if this uh, photoreceptor here is depolarized and releasing lots of glutamate, that means that this bipolar cell is getting inhibited by all that glutamate release, right? And it's getting hyperpolarized. As we see here at the bottom, that's the end right there, hyperpolarization of our bipolar cell. So that's how that works out for the on bipolar cell. Now the off bipolar cell it's essentially the opposite response for both the direct and indirect pathway. So I really encourage you to go back to those two images, right? First, fully understand how they work for the on bipolar cell, and then try to apply the same method and uh, thought process to get to your results in the case of an off bipolar cell. The only difference with this off bipolar cell like I said, it's that it's ionotropic receptors. That means anytime that you see glutamate release from the photoreceptors, you're going to get activation instead of inhibition in the case of on bipolar cells, right? So we said that the on bipolar cell, the direct pathway where the light is hitting the center, it's going to result, we said it's going to result in depolarization of our bipolar cell. So in this case, the off bipolar cell is going to be the opposite, hyperpolarization. And for the indirect pathway where light is hitting the surround, we said that results in the on bipolar cell. We concluded that it resulted in hyperpolarization. So in this case, for the off bipolar cell, the indirect pathway, that's going to be depolarization in the case of the off bipolar cell. Now, I would have included images, but I, I couldn't find any to do that. So I encourage you to just go through the thought process for the off bipolar cell, and you should see the results that I just mentioned. And that's it for today's video. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos helping with topics like these. Uh, also, make sure to comment with any questions on this material or any other types of videos that you would like to see, and I will catch you in the next one.